You know what? I don't need this thing right here. It, it, it's, it's for everybody. Jeff, you got to hear the voice, right? You hear the voice. Yeah, hear the voice. You can hear the voice everywhere. From across the field, they can hear my voice. You know, and as we said, I think Joel is the only guy who's ever heard of me, right? Joel Cody was one of my best friends. Yeah, Joel and so I'm, I'm just going to kind of have it. Run again, right, run that play again. I'm just going to kind of uh, throw the path in or something here, you know, I, you know, no thoughts or whatever. But, uh, first of all, uh, thank you, Carol. Great idea, Scott and uh, Tony. Uh, you guys kind of visit a little bit about it on Peter's Ohio and so on. And, and uh, it, it just came, came together. We had some time. We're going to be able to find some time that our coaches can get together. Uh, wonderful. Uh, my family is here. Uh, my wife, uh, Lori, uh, maybe you had her in class uh, teaching elementary or whatever. That was a long time, long time ago, wasn't it? A long time ago. Uh, but uh, our, my two sons, uh, uh, Scott and uh, Mike, uh, I have two wonderful daughter-in-laws, uh, Catherine who's married to Mike, and uh, she's a graduate of Central College, and I got Liz who is Scott's uh, wife, and uh, Liz is a graduate at uh, Wisconsin Whitewater. Have you ever heard of somebody ever heard of Wisconsin Whitewater? You know, they, used to, they play some pretty good football, up in that direction anyway. And then I've got six great grandkids, all right, so I get Five boys and uh, one girl, we run after them all the time. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful time. So, um, just a little bit more about the family. Uh, some of you don't know and so on. Um, story about Mike. You know, um, you know, Mike always used to tell him, Coach Davis, he's got the greatest job in the world. You know? You know what does Coach Davis do? Coach Davis, uh, the greatest job. You know? Well, Right now, you know, he kind of wanted to be like Coach Davis, or like Mike did. And there are a number of students in the Des Moines School District. There are a group of students at Perkins Elementary, which is right by Drake, right now that have Coach Davis teaching them physical education. Because Mike is a follower of the footsteps, and that's where he teaches and what he works with. Mike is also the offensive coordinator at Dallas Center Grimes, which keeps me busy on the weekends also, right, on Friday nights. In fact, even this morning, I was drawing up the Kentucky play. I'm talking about how we can get that mesh going across the field, how we can get ourselves a little deeper, deep. On, uh, the, on a crossing route, clearing out the area and hitting into some grass areas for the tight ends coming across. Good old 942, you know? Great play. Better, great play. Okay, great play. Great so I'm drawing that. I've got a picture on my phone, and I'm sending it to Mike. How come Dallas Center Nine couldn't do this? You know? Yeah. There's something else they don't do. They don't run 12, and they don't run 13. <laughs> Jets and they do all these kind of stuff like that, you know. No, you do on the edge is tackle. So anyway, I follow a foot uh, the Dallas Enterprise football. When I left, uh, Lori and I left here. Uh, it was actually about 15 years ago already, and I uh, got a job uh, coaching football at Central College in Pella, Iowa. Wonderful opportunity for. Uh, my family, uh, Scott had gone to school there. Uh, he was then heading over to the University of Iowa. But uh, I got an opportunity to, to coach, a college coach. I mean, just a, it was kind of a special little thing. I had to get to coach the, the running backs. I got to coach quarterbacks. You know, but I was, you're kind of a little different in the life of those students, of those players. You know, you're, you're there with them a lot. You, you, they're there and they want to talk to you. They want to talk about your families. You know, they want to talk about class and stuff like this. So you kind of get involved in their lives a little bit more, which is really neat. I mean, I don't care what, 
you know, and in the recruiting process, you know, I got involved in recruiting and recruiting in the Iowa Conference. And I would even tell kids, I don't care, you know, what Iowa Conference school you go to. I mean, every one of them are great. I mean, every one of them. You just choose the kind of people you kind of want to be around, you know, and find those. And that's what was important to me. And I learned it in the, in the college coaching environment, right? Um, had an opportunity to coach in four national championship series. I mean, moving on from what we're at. So uh, my coaching uh, has left me to, to the state of Oregon, to Michigan, to Wisconsin, you know, to Minnesota. I've had opportunities to, to coach in those states or be part of a, of a game in those states. Um, with Scott being at the University of Iowa, a great opportunity for our family, you know, and for his, and his job. I've gone from Pasadena, California, to Miami, Florida. I've been in Florida nine times. We've been in Texas. We've been in, in Phoenix. We've been to New York City. I've been to Ohio State. I mean, golly sakes. I am blessed with all that. You know, to just to be able to do that. And it, hey, it started at Wapsie Valley for me. You know, I got a job in 1968 or to come to Wapsie Valley. And at that time, I still got my first playbook. All right? First play, we lined up in a straight T, both halfbacks being right behind the tackles, and we run dive right and dive left, and we run 12 and 13. That's all I knew, all right? That's all I knew, you know. And then I had to start studying a little bit, you know, and with the coach that we had, we kind of learned on what we were going to do. What, how, did we, how were we going to look? We had an identity to ourselves. Yeah, as you hear about it right here in, the class, in this room, you hear about the identity that we have, you know, at Loxy Valley. You know, we can run 14 and 15 all day long, or, or we can run uh, three, uh, was it was a 315 and we scored a touchdown against St. Anne's You know, those type of things. And they're, and they're still there, and they're great plays, and they're simple plays. And you can execute those plays with, with excellence right there. You know, they started in the junior high here at Loxy and they just kind of moved up the level, the level, and we're still running, I don't know those guys. Hey, I, you know, I'll watch Loxy now, and they run the jet and all that kind of That's great. great. Ray, That's great. great. 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, we still do it. <laughs> I, in Central, we don't do that stuff, you know. We got to do all that fancy stuff, <laughs> you know. We did be able to run shovel passes, though. Ah! <laughs> uh, we did put in some shovel passes, you know, in, in, in here and so on. So, Anyway, it's, it, it, I had a great 33 years here, and my life is continuing, our life and our family's life continues to grow and get better and have fun. Football is the center of our life, when you think about it. You know, it always has been, and it's a great feeling to have that, you know, knowing that you're around good people, you know, and, and my family is around good people, you know, and that's, uh, that's very important to us. And I hope it's important to you in your future as you continue to look at that. Because um, I kind of, you know, I don't want to talk about some of the memories or something of the games. And, and I can go back and look at some of the passes that we threw or, or didn't throw. And, you know, Scott's always telling me, oh, you didn't throw enough, man, out there in, a, you know, in the pants. Or, or every time that we run 942, uh, Andy Kaufman was the fullback offset halfback, offset fullback. And everybody in the, you know, would know we were running 942, you know. Or when we played Demisburg in the finals, Jody Gosman was the wide receiver. But when we were running uh, 42 and 43, Jody Gosman was the tailback, you know. I mean, that was very simple, you know. <laughs> you got a coach like that, you know. And then, but that's what we kind of did. We identified, you know, the strengths of what we could do with the players that we had, and we kind of put you into the position after we decided what we were doing. And once we found out what we were doing, that never changed. We never had to worry about what was happening. We had to figure out how we could coach that. 
how we could take each individual that we had at Watsky Valley and make, supposedly, feel good. How do you feel good about being part of the program? You know, and how do you feel good about the position you're at and make sure that you know that what you're doing is important to that part of that team? Heath never told you. Right? I lost the Heath. Right, Lee? We're out. I'm a, I took the, the Central College JV to Williams Field in, in, uh, over in uh, Des Moines. Go across the field, find out who the coach is from the other side. Grandview, right? Guess who the coach is? And you got it right over there. <laughs> Went, in fact, I went back into the locker room with you guys, didn't I? You know, all you know, their coaches, I go back to the locker room and we chit chat about Wapsie Valley. You know, and that's so, and that was, so it's there. You know, it's very important, it's important in our lives and so on. Right. You know, um, anybody have any questions that you would like to, for games or something like that, possibly go over? I mean, I don't, you know, we just have a lot of success, you know, and a lot of fun. As I kind of put a, put an end to, you know, what I would, you know, kind of say. You know, our school song, right? I want to think about the Mopsy Valley school song, right? Okay, and if I get it wrong or something like that, please help me out. You know, but it says, you know, Wapsie Valley hats off to thee. Right? To our colors, strong we will ever be. Is that right? True we'll ever be. Firm, united, strong are we. Rah 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 from Lopsy Valley. Rah rah from Lopsy Valley. One more time. Is it what? One more what? Rah rah from Lopsy Valley. Go Warriors, go Warriors. Fight, fight, fight. And that's what we stand for. Whether it's today's team, or whether it was the 1969 team where Bruce was my quarterback, you know, or whether it was the 1990 team or whatever it is. So, let's, can we just do something here? All right, let's stand up and sing the fight song. <laughs> All right, everybody, now start this off right here. Okay, everybody in the, everybody in the fight song? All right. Now you can probably hear me anyway. Can I